Good afternoon, dear students, parents, or our audience who have joined us today for this live session. Uh, welcome to Rus Education. And today with us, we are honored to have the head of international department of Mari State University, Ms. Natalia Nikolaevna Kanashina. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome to our live session. Uh, dear students, today we will be discussing all about Mari State University. All your questions, all your doubts regarding the university, the study pattern, how Indian students are doing in the university, you can all get your answers directly from Ms. Natalia Nikolaevna, who is the head of International Students Department at Mari State University. So, ma'am, welcome to our live session. It has been a pleasure to work with Mari State University. The university has been admitting Indian students for the past five years, and uh, the number of Indian students in the university has been constantly increasing because of the excellent facilities, not only in education, but in the comfortable living conditions that the university has to offer for Indian students. So without much delay, I'll give the stage to Ms. Natalia Nikolaevna. And uh, ma'am, all over to you. And uh, let's start with your presentation. I'll be here. And uh, in case students, do you have any doubts, any questions? please write in the comment section. If you are willing to do your MBBS, the medicine program, please share this video with your colleagues, friends, family members, so that all of them can get their doubts cleared directly by the university representative, Ms. Natalia, who is the head of International Students Department at Mari State University. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dinesh. So, dear students, dear parents, dear guests, it is also a great honor for our university to work for a long time with this great company, Ross Education. And uh, actually, this is an annual event uh, provided by Ross Education and organized by Ross Education. And every year we make such sessions with future students. So let me introduce our university for a few minutes and then I can answer all your questions. So, uh, as already said, our university, it's a governmental university, it's a Mary State University. Next page. So, so it's multi-field. Uh, in Russian, we call it a classic university. It means that we have lots of faculties and lots of institutes inside of the uh, university but most popular of, from Indians or of Indian students and also from of international students it's already medicine so it's researching university international university and learned centered university it means that we are centered to all the learners to all the students who study in our university so next page, please. Uh, we are situated in the central part of Russia, near Moscow and near Kazan. It's very easy to reach our university by plane. You, you can book a plane to Moscow or to Kazan and then by bus. Uh, you can travel from Kazan to Yoshkarola. Over Moscow, there are also different ways to travel to Yoshkarola. And I have to mark also that if first year students come to Russia, all the process of coming is organized all, uh, together with on university and Ross education. So next page, please. Uh, university itself situated in the city of Yoshkarola. It's a great, beautiful, green city, very cute, very friendly to international students. And university is also situated in the city center. International students, uh, Indian students, I mean, uh, live in comfortable student hostels provided by Rus Education. All the hostels are situated in the city center. So it's very easy to reach uh, from the hostel to the university buildings. Usually it takes just 10 minutes to work. Then, next page. 
So what about the university, position of the university? Uh, uh, it takes uh, 47 position uh, in the ranking of most popular universities in Russia. And what's more, it is not marked in the, uh, here in the presentation, but I can say annually we have a national ranking of universities in Russia. And this year, Murray State took um, the place 24 in the uh, international activities in national ranking of the university. So we are on the plate 24 among, among 600 universities of Russia. Um, most of our programs are accredited by international professional and public authorities. And it's a key university of Russia also. Next. Yes, as I told you, we have a very huge uh, range of um, uh, study programs. Of course, you are all interested in medicine. Medical faculty is the biggest faculty in our university. Most of students are studying here. Most of international students are studying here. You see that we have almost now even more than 2,000 foreign students and almost 1,000 students are coming from India. Next, please. Uh, in total, we have 20, uh, 32 representatives of different countries of all over the world, and the majority of them are coming from India. Please, next. Uh, if you want to study, for example, something else, you can choose from a wide range, not only bachelor or MBBS, there are also medical uh, residence training and doctoral training. But now we have to start, of course, this MBBS program. Next, please. So what about academic mobility? So while studying, students have possibility uh, to make their short-term study in uh, uh, European universities or, uh, under different programs. So, and uh, also practical trainings is also possible. Next, please. Why do, uh, st why do students choose up? Uh, we have a highly developed infrastructure, a very good scientific base for research activities, also in molecular bi biology and in medicine. Uh, the environment in our city and in our university is uh, really multinational, as you can see. Uh, we made a good adaptation and integration programs for international students. So full-time students are studying in English if they choose this program. Uh, for those who want to study Russian, there is a preparatory department as additional subject, for example. So uh, we have also a very developed partnership system with universities from all over the world. And our international students actively participate in extra curricular activities. Uh, they uh, make lots of cultural events and uh, they participate in very interesting university projects. Next. So what also we can do for uh, good students? Uh, we have uh, university makes grants and investments bringing to the students who wants to uh, to participate in some scientific, uh, scientific project or something else. Uh, we have lots of co-working places and offices in business incubator and te technopark of our university so students can um, participate in events uh, organized by business sector. Uh, developing project of talenting yours is also supported by the university. And we have uh, regular integrated events for development of young people enterprises. We know that Indian students are very interested in it. And uh, you can see that lots of them are actively participate in these events. 
and uh, the last page is uh, so it's our, our strength of the university as we call it uh, so uh, of course we have lots of uh, projects in engineering and, and intelligent projects but what is more interesting for you is for example telemedicine and molecular genetics laboratories they are highly highly uh, organized um, highly developed in the university so please i'm ready to answer all your questions Thank you, Natalia Nikolaevna. So one by one, uh, we have like already received many questions. So one by one, I'll be uh, taking all the questions. So first of all, uh, the students who are getting admission in uh, medical universities or in the classical universities for the medical programs in various Russian universities, they have to come back and they have to appear for a licensing examination, which is known as foreign medical graduate examination. So does the university provide uh, a coaching or uh, the training for that exam while the students are studying MBBS at your university? Yes, we have such courses. We provide such uh, education, but not just university alone is doing this. We are doing this together with Rus Education. Rus Education uh, invites every year very qualified professors from India who are very professional trainers, especially for this exam. And they have classes uh, to all the students from first year till fifth year, till sixth year, I should say. Last year it was made online. Okay, so uh, you want to say that uh, Rus Education, along with the universities, organizing such coaching classes for the students so that they can come back after their degree and they can clear their foreign medical graduate examination. Yes, they can clear. Okay, uh, ma'am, uh, secondly, uh, there are like concerns of the parents who have their girl children, like they, uh, they're very particular about the safety of girls uh, while studying in a foreign land where they do not, where they have not been for a one single time. So are there any girl students also studying in the university? There are a lot of girls studying in our university, lots of Indi Indian girls studying in the, in the university. So in the universe, inside the university and outside the university, it's really very uh, safety for the girls. First of all, girls and boys live different in different uh, parts of the hostel, so they are not combined. Uh, but uh, as you know, in Russia, in Russia, it's, it's a very safety country for girls. So, of course, I can understand that parents are afraid of it, but really, really, here it is very safety. Okay, so, like, as we all know that Russia is a woman-dominated country, not like India. In India, the number of males are more as compared to females. But in Russia, the number of females is more than males. And women enjoy a, a very, what you say, can respect in the community, in the uh, normal life while they are uh, living in Russia. Most of the students who are living, like all the girls and boys, they have separate arrangement in the hostels. And all the hostels are equipped with CCTV cameras so that like all the activity is tracked. Nobody from outside can enter the hostels. The hostels, you can enter only with the document or the hostel card that is issued to you. So the girls are pretty safe, not only inside the hostels, but outside in the community as well. Uh, Ma'am, again, one more concern. As we all know that in Russia, there are three modes of education. is a Russian medium, a bilingual system, and an English medium of study. So, Mari State University has English medium of study or what? Right. Uh, we, um, we have full, media, full English media of study from first till sixth year. Sometimes even students want to study one more language, for example, German or something else. Of course, they are free to do this, but uh, for speciality their speciality for their study program everything is taught in english okay so the mbbs program uh, for all the students so mbbs program in mari state university is a complete english medium program starting from first year till the last till the sixth year uh, ma'am again there is a question uh, of the students about the practical training so as we all know that in medical universities the training is all practical based in Mari State University, do they get cadavers while they are studying uh, anatomy in the first or second year? 
Yes, we have cadavers. We have also a simulation center where students start the uh, program. So first year students have practical training with uh, simulators, and then after the second year, they the practice is organized in the hospitals. Okay, so the clinical part that you mean to say from third year, uh, it, the students have to go in the various hospitals uh, across the city and they have to practice. So um, uh, to have a general idea, how many hospitals are associated with Mari State University? Actually, in the city, there are three big hospitals that are associated in, uh, with the university. But as we are situated not just in the city, it's our republic. Uh, in every part of the republic, we have a different hospital where students also can go. Okay. So you have ample amount of uh, opportunities of for students starting from their first year that you can study anatomy on dead bodies and cadavers. Uh, you have simulation centers where you can practice your various techniques like giving an injection IV or yeah. cannulas and you have to do your clinical part of your training in the various hospitals located not only in the city but the Republic of Mariel. Uh, and then I have also heard that during the summer vacations, students have to undergo a summer observership. So at that point of time, can it be done in Indian hospitals uh, or do you have any contract or any agreement with any Indian hospital? Yes, we have we have uh, lots of agreement with Indian hospitals and even if the students choose a particular hospital, it is also discussable. Okay, the, so the students you can uh, like not only get a exposure of Russian healthcare system, but you get exposure of Indian hospitals and Indian patients because you have to undergo your summer observership pro uh, program during your summer vacations when you come back to India. If you want to stay in Russia and Russia also, you can do your summer observership. Then uh, apart from studies, uh, what other extracurricular activities like you told that there are extracurricular activities available for Indian students, but you have been associated with Indian students for the past five years. What all activities do they indulge in? Actually, there are two parts. First part, it's a cultural activities. When students celebrate their own fest, their own festivals, the national festivals, for example, very soon we celebrate uh, 75th anniversary. Yes, and students uh, also participate in, this, in it. And the second part of the events is scientific events, scientific conference, scientific forums, uh, round tables, uh, where students can uh, can make uh, their success in scientific life. Okay. So, Mari State University has uh, like yeah. opportunities for students to pursue their hobbies in various cultural events that are celebrated in the university. Indian festivals are also celebrated. Apart from that, if you have your inclination towards research activities, all the departments have student scientific societies where you can join those departments and you can carry out your research work. And again, you can participate in national, international conferences and you can publish your papers in various journals, not only in Russia, but in international journals as well. Um, uh, okay, so we also say that all day study and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So are there any sports activities or opportunities for sports uh, that are available in the Mari State University? There is a wide range of sports activities. Most of students playing badminton, some of them are participating in other sport events. So actually uh, around, around 30, 30 different uh, circles we have in sports. Okay, so there are various sports activities which are available. So if you like uh, have your interest in playing badminton, football or athletics, you will have ample amount of opportunities of participating in those sports events. Uh, apart from that, Rus Education uh, in association with Mari State University organizes cricket tournament also for the students where students uh, can play, can enjoy cricket, uh, which is not played in Russia. Uh, Ma'am, uh, like the past two years have been very difficult for all of us because of this pandemic. So what special steps were taken by the university to ensure the safety of the students as well as not wasting their time or their academic year? So actually this uh, pandemic situation changed uh, a bit in the approach to study. First of all, uh, when the borders were, were closed, we organized online classes for those who stayed in India. And for those who were in Russia, uh, we made it 
offline. Uh, and there is actually a strict control from the, all the uh, governmental borders of the country on the how the university makes it safety. So we have to measure temperature, we have to check uh, the condition of every student. So there is actually, actually uh, a wide system very organized, very good organized system, controlled from the uh, government. Okay, so uh, Mari State University took all the steps ensuring that the students remain safe in this pandemic and they do not lose on the education. So online classes were arranged for the students who could not come to the university due to restrictions on air travel and uh, uh, the students who were present in the university their classes were taken in offline, keeping all the COVID protocols in place. Sanitizers, uh, temperature control was all done by the university as per the guidelines of the government. Uh, Ma'am, what is the eligibility criteria if a student wants to get admission in Mari State University? What all should he have, including starting from age and his academics? So first of all, they have to make fully uh, the uh, 12th class. Yes, we also look at the uh, results of the study. Uh, we do not admit students who are very uh, not very good in biology or chemistry. So actually for us it's very important how you study in biology, chemistry, how good is your English level, is your English uh, level enough for study or not. And uh, what's more, I know that there are also some Indian requirements for those students who are going abroad. They, you have also to fulfill all these requirements. Okay. So, yes, in India, as per the government guidelines, students must qualify NEET exam. For that, you have to score 50th percentile in your NEET exam. Apart from that, as informed by uh, Natalia Kanashina, that you have to score good in your biology and chemistry of, in your 12th class. So, uh, university is very much dedicated that they uh, get quality students and the doctors are even much more better in quality. Uh, so thank you, ma'am. I hope we have discussed and we have taken all the doubts of the students. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so there is one more question from Mr. Devesh Jaiswal. So how is the faculty of the university? The second part of the question is, it is, is it fully English medium? So we have answered that, that uh, the university is fully English medium. Uh, but the first part is, how is the faculty of the university? So, uh, as you know, university is a big structure and inside of the university there are, I cannot say there are small structures, but it is divided in some, in some departments. So, and medical department, medical faculty is the biggest faculty of our university. And the uh, university maintains the student to teacher ratio of seven is to one. And the stu uh, university has well qualified teachers, assistant professors, professors, lecturers. So students will get quality education along with comfortable stay. Uh, so ma'am, as your a small message, a final message for the students who are looking for admissions right now, why choose Murray State University? If you want to get very qualified education, very good uh, practical based in education. So welcome to our university. We are waiting for good students. Uh, we are waiting for students who are really interested in their studies. And we are waiting for the students who will be our owner. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Ms. Natalia Kanashina for joining us. So students, today we had with us Ms. Natalia Kanashina, who is the head of International Students Department at Mari State University. So if you want to become a well-qualified doctor, Mari State University is the place to be. Mari State University is enlisted in WDOMS, the World Directory of Medical Schools, and the degree is valid all across the world in all the countries. So after qualifying from Mari State University, you will be not only a good doctor, but a better professional also. Mari State University is now accepting applications. So if you have qualified NEET or you are applying for NEET, and if you have scored, if you have completed your 12th class, you can apply. For applications, you can contact the student helpline number 18008 
or you can visit our website www.ruseducation.in you can locate our nearest office you can get in touch with our experienced counselors and you can book a seat in mari state university for your mbbs thank you so much ms natalia kanashina for joining us today for taking time from your busy schedule and answering all the questions all the doubts of the students who maybe the future will be the future students of mari state university thank you so much for joining us and thank you all the students and parents who have joined us in this video we hope we were able to give an insight about the education system the facilities provided for indian students at mari state university welcome to mari state university welcome to russia stay safe take care of yourselves and thank you for joining us thank you bye